we're obviously delighted with the result because it's uh, it was a hard hard fought game. Aston Villa made us suffer certainly in that first half. I thought we started off okay, but then lost our way a little bit in the first half. Sorry, second half of the first half, and we needed Kepa then, and at, at that point, made some fantastic saves. Uh, in the end, Mason's made the difference. So that we were better second half, it was more uh, more stable. Um, not easy for us in terms of the amount of games we've, we've played and to, to come from Milan and and to uh, to come here. Aston Villa got a lot of quality on the pitch, so they can they can cause you problems at any point. So we're delighted with the three points, delighted with a clean sheet, and happy for Mason and Kepper in particular that they've managed to help us over the line. And that's probably going to be the story. It's different players will have to step up and. Today they've done it. How happy are you with what's going on defensively? Because it is four clean sheets in a row. So how has that kind of turned around in producing the clean sheets coming back, would you say? Well, I think it's a, a collective uh, desire to do the ugly stuff in the game, a collective idea uh, idea to help each other, to be together, to, to if we need to suffer, we have to suffer. We're not, uh, you know, we have humility. We, we know sometimes the, the opponent can get the better of us, and that's normal at <coughs> football. But uh, at least we want to try and you can see players running and see players getting bodies in the line to block shots and that's an important part of the game because we've got the quality, the quality's there in the group. I asked you about the, the right hand side, obviously trying to sort things out with Reese James being out, how did you find that kind of went today and the number of sort of changes you had to make throughout the game to, to solve that? Yeah, it can happen sometimes when you lose a, a, a key player that um, <clears throat> you know you need to sort of get a feel, we tried to be a bit back three and build up and, and Back four defensively with Raheem. Like I said, we start the game quite well in the first 15 minutes, but in the end we, we lost a bit of momentum. And they could put pressure on, pick up second balls and, and get in behind us. So we had to make a change then at half time. I felt the boys did it really well. So but, um, yeah, we've got options there. Just, just lastly, uh, for me, Oliver James obviously the club put a statement out last night in terms of, of his injury. How does that leave things with him and the World Cup from your perspective? And also, are you OK with, you know, if that's time to look at how the club dealt with you know, him since he got injured? Are you satisfied with the, the club you know, handled him in the last few days? Correctly? Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> in terms of, of, of his, uh, his involvement in the World Cup, I don't know. It'll, it'll depend on how he... How he uh, recovers. He'll give everything. I'm pretty sure he will. But he's in a brace for probably four weeks, so that slows everything down, I think. Um, and and yeah, the, the the boys had a couple of days free. It was important, to, especially with the international players. Sometimes you need to try and give them a a break when when you can, and that was the idea. Um, obviously, Reese felt a bit of discomfort the following day, so came home and uh, got it assessed as quickly as we as we could. There's no nothing's. Uh, Nothing's got any worse because of how he how he acted in those times. So now we have to support him and get him fit and strong. Yeah. Before the free kick goal, uh, when Mason Mount was standing over the ball, Thiago Silva was standing behind him, screaming at Chelsea's two-man wall next to Villa's wall to move, and he moved them quite significantly. It was it was just great leadership, but. How important is he, as a, not as a defender, but as a man on the pitch? And how influential was that in the goal? Yeah, he's, he's, I've spoken about him a lot, you know. Uh, I've just said to him there, I think he needs to relax a little bit more on the ball. He panics a bit too much, you know. <laughs> um, it's just, he's at a, the highest level you can think of, as a, like you say, as a character, as a man, how he leads the team, how he's playing. I think he's made some really important blocks and in interceptions and just that little bit of know-how that you can't you can't uh, put a price on so he's, he's been fantastic for us um, he felt a little bit of tightness in his hamstring so we'll see how he recovers for Wednesday but uh, apart from that he's uh, he's a top person Andy. Hi, Brian. Hi. Um, just following on the Reese thing just how is he in himself we've seen the stuff on social media you know the rehab starts he, he mm. sounds quite bullish but I presume you've had a chat to him and spoken to him. How is he and how are the team around him over this, you know, this setback at such a key time? Well, he's naturally disappointed, naturally um, you know, upset because 
he, he's injured for us. He misses games for us when he was in a fantastic moment. I thought his performance at uh, Milan was incredible, both the games. So he's got himself into a real good moment of form and as you can imagine, he's, he's really disappointed to be injured. But he'll give everything, he'll fight, he'll, he'll try his best to get back as quickly as he can and then when he is, he'll be a top, top player. So we don't rule him out of the World Cup. I mean, I know Chelsea said eight weeks in the statement, but I guess, you know, it's moving heaven, heaven and earth and we don't rule him out of the World Cup. Well, it wouldn't be my place to predict what's going to happen. You know, he's going to be in a brace, for, like I said, for four weeks. That's all I know the next four weeks looks like for him and, and that has implications in terms of what he needs to do to, to, get, to get fit from there. But our job is just to help him in the in the in the short term now and get him back. I'm not a Brighton and Kepa, I mean, you've spoken already, but there's a guy who's you know, it's a complete contrast to where he's been in the last few years. He's been very, you know, frustrated. And there's a guy who looks like he's really picked up on you know his confidence levels are just sky high at the moment. Yeah, he's contributing to us with clean sheets. He's contributing to uh, how we're trying to play and the the, the environment around the place. I've got to say, all, all, all three goalkeepers we've had here have been really, really good in that regard, supporting each other, you know, providing good competition, and that picks everybody's level up. And Kepa has, has found a fantastic level today. He's made some brilliant saves that have kept us in the game and allowed us to win the points. So I'm really pleased for him. David, two more, and then we're going to call it a day. Alistair, and then at the front to finish. Hey, just on Mason, um, what, what have you said to him in terms of his performance? Obviously, he started this season, obviously, maybe in sort of mediocre form, but he's really improved since. Nothing too much. I think, like I said, it's about uh, the team, about uh, his role in the team. He works so hard for the for the team always. Uh, he's got the quality. He's got the he's got the ability to score and assist. Sometimes players go through little dips if the team isn't functioning that well, and maybe the team didn't function as well as it maybe can, and as a result of that, individuals don't play to the level. But he's uh, the effort's always been there from from my perspective and. Once he can get in the spaces we want to get into, he's got the quality to, to execute, and you saw that today. Can I just ask about Raheem? Um, I think you played him on the other side of it as a wing back against Salvi Salzburg. Yeah. Was today a sign that you can maybe do that against Salzburg and Raheem Sterling and Raheem Sterling as well? Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that we need if you look at where we were, it was Mark Lucarella as a left centre back, which, which, which can work, but it didn't didn't work so much today. We had to adjust that. But I think Raheem could play high and wide in in all those positions. But clearly, the balance of the team is one that we have to you know, look at and uh, find the right solutions. Okay, last question. Yours, Excellent. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.